All right, how's it going everyone? My name is Theron and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes summoning session. Today we have the new As new heroes and Ascended Joshua banner. That part is a surprise and I'm all for it. Kind of weird that it's three daggers and one bow, but that's still A-OK -okay by me. Plus it's Sacred Stones units and I think a lot of people have wanted at the very least, three of these heroes in Fey, so that's good. Now, obviously, priority is going to be colorless because of the new Joshua. He just looks so, so awesome. I think after that, just full circle, prioritizing red, then green, then blue. Uh, nothing against Colm or Renek, they're still... There's still some pretty good dudes. It's just they don't have much in the way of fodder, besides their weapons. You got Renek with the Vicious Dagger. That's basically the same thing as the Courtly Fan Plus, negating Wind Sweep slash Water Sweep effects. Still pretty good, but the rest of the kit, not so great. And of course, we have Colm with the Quick Dagger Plus which is minus two cooldown on the user's, user's special, my bad. Same thing as, I think it was the Ouch Pouch Plus from Hot Springs Camilla. Kinda niche, kind of, well actually pretty good, especially for some units, but... I mean, that's all he's really got going on for him. So... They're kind of lower on the priority list, but they're still good. Of course, up there in top priority, we got Navy with the Rapid Crier Bow. Really calling her out on that one, aren't they? Uh, Built-in attack speed opening, and it gives her plus five to all stats and boosts her attack by however much bonuses she gave to her allies within three spaces. That sounded like a mouthful, but essentially what that means is whatever bonuses she gave her allies, she just takes them all back and puts it right into her tap. That's honestly crazy, and I love it. Of course, she also has Speed Res Bond 4. I can't remember if this is the last bond skill that gets the tier 4 upgrade or not. It's either this or defense res bond 4, and I can't remember which. But I'm sure one of you will correct me in the comment section. That's a lot of 3 stars. Oh boy. Yep. Leg is real today. It's negative 17 outside where I live, so... Yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of lag. My bad. Anyway, on to the main prize of this banner. Ascended Joshua. So, first off, weapon, Blade of Jahana. Built in slaying effect, low speed defense if he's healthy, and he gets a fire sweep effect if he's. if he attacks within a cardinal direction. or no, if he's within a cardinal direction of a foe. Otherwise, if he just attacks from anywhere else, it's like, um. Ruptured Sky, I think. 15% of the foe's attack. That is a ridiculous weapon right there, and I want it. Please, Joshua, come home. Please. And of course, Sea Skill, Green Feud 3. Again, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. The feud skills are kind of niche, but they can be helpful. It just really depends on who has it and who you're going up against. That's not the main thing that I want to talk about with Joshua. It's the fact that he's an Ascended Hero. First non-Fey OC get the Ascended Hero. 
this just opened up doors to a whole lot of possibilities. And I think the main one that I want would be Ascend of Azura. Please, make that happen. <laughs> But I've also got to be a little bit realistic about this, and this is just my working theory. You can take with a grain of salt, but I feel like they're going to give Ascended Heroes to characters that aren't, you know, main boards. Like, for Joshua's case, it would be him because Ephraim and Erica already have legendary cults. So what that means is... Because Azura already has a legendary alt, the chances of her getting an ascended hero are slim to none. God, the lag is real. I'm a little upset about that, but that does mean the rest of the Fate Stonebulls do have a chance of being ascended heroes. And if I can get ascended Sakura or Elise sometime within this year, I will be a very happy man. <laughs> Alright, three tickets in. Still nobody, but I'm hopeful. And another three star, nice. Ooh boy. Also, at the very least, with Ascended Heroes, that also means you know, we're going to get a lot of other characters being Ascended Heroes. I think one that people want, now that we have Joshua, is Ascended La Rochelle. And I kind of agree with that. It, she's just the perfect fit for a resplendent, or Ascended Hero, I mean. Come on, somebody's got to show up. Renek, I know you don't like La Rochelle, but... Okay, that didn't work. All chance at home. Or Marcia. <laughs> Ooh, three colorless. Please, Joshua, please. Okay, one down. Two more chances. But I'm optimistic. So, whatever I get here, I'm A-OK -okay with. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the Q&A section of the video. And just a little reminder, if you ever want to ask a question in a future summoning video, just leave it in the comment section down below with hashtag question, and I'll answer it in the next one. Uh, this one comes from, once again, Chris Coy, and they ask, When do you think Legendary Sita will come, either this year or next year? So thank you for the question, Chris. And, you know, to follow up what you asked uh, last time, I mean, yeah, Legendary Sita, that would be pretty cool. It really depends on, obviously, you know, A, weapon for her, and B, you know, what color that could be. Speaking of Sita, I think what I said was Blue Lance Flyer for her. So, depending on what month this year has, at the very least, two open slots in blue, there is a chance for Sita, but, you know, again, it could always be somebody else. However, I do think that even, even if we don't get a Legendary Sita, 
we could get an Ascended Zeta. And honestly, either one of those I am A-OK -okay with. Either a Legendary Banner dedicated to her, or an Ascended Alt where she brings along other Shadow Dragon heroes. Either one of those I am A-OK -okay with. She really needs some more alts. Well... Okay, I shouldn't say that, because... She's got a lot of alts already, and... Two of them are pretty powerful. But a few more alts of her wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh boy. We're about to hit the 30 summon mark. And that is a Lucina. <laughs> Well, 30 summons in, and at least we got a 5-star. I don't like... God. The, fun fact, this is the second time she has shown up with minus attack IVs. As well as being plus res. Alright. Alright. Renek, please. Violin. But seriously, Renek, home, you two don't get here. I will drag you to ask her by your ponytails myself. At the very least, I've been getting a good number of colorless orbs, so... You know, I'm not just wasting orbs on random people. I do at least have some chance at uh, Joshua, which is good. Somebody. Perfectly somebody from the focus. Stork home, there we go. Well, considering how it took you a ton of orbs to get here. Oh boy. I'm starting to regret you being here, but at least you got full neutral IVs, so I'll take it. I can go with either Emerge here or Fodder. I don't care which. That's a three star. Two more chances. Two more chances at Joshua. And if I don't get him here, then it's Spark Bolt. Joshua, come on. I'll give you gold. Eh, dang it. I was about to say I'll give him gold, but it turned out to be a three star. Alright, well, might as well just 
throw these last uh, 11 orbs. Not like I'm going to get anyone good. That's a leg spike. Eesh, that was bad. Alright, oh. Like I said, spark pole for Joshua. Because I got no one else this banner. Honestly, I'm glad that they do this for, you know, at the very least, the new hero banners. Because, yeah, this luck was just atrocious. Ugh. Took you long enough, man. Took you long enough. So I'm surprised they didn't give him uh, lethality for a special. If I had spare Volks, I would probably give it to him. But I do not. And that is going to do it for today's summoning session. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did summon on Spanner, let me know who you got down below in the comment section. It is... I'm pretty sure all your guys' results are going to be better than mine. I can guarantee that. And if you haven't summoned on this banner, I wish you all the luck in the world. But with that, I'm Theron, and I'll see you next time. So until then, farewell, game on.